Hi, it's Brad Shores with Tropical Shores Steel Drum Lessons. On today's lesson, we're going to look at the song Jump in the Line. Well, Jump in the Line was made famous uh, recently by the, the movie Beetlejuice, where it was uh, kind of reintroduced. Harry Belafonte made this uh, very popular. It's a, a nice song for gigs because, again, a lot of people know these songs. This song's in the key of G, so it has uh, the G scale. And the part of the song that's difficult is there's only two chord changes. So from an improvisational standpoint, it is a challenge because there's only so much you can do with two, key, with two chord changes. But we'll do some of the normal tricks that we normally do. Uh, one thing that I like to do on this song is when you play the high G, I like to pair it with the low B. We call that a six because B to G is six notes apart. So B to G is six notes apart. F sharp, coming down the scale, F sharp and A go together. E and G, lower G, go together. And then when I get to D, I just use the B, which is only a third. So again, I, G, and B, F sharp and A, E and G, and then D and B. Uh, that's one of the improvisational things I like to do because it fattens up your playing a little bit. It makes you sound more professional. Well, we're going to do a little bit of the melody, and then I'll do a little improvisation. did use the scale a lot, the G scale. It went higher than the G scale, came down a little bit. Then I use this lick once. You'll see it's D, D sharp, and E. And you can use that little lick over both chord changes, so it, it really sounds good. It's called the Brazil lick because it's from the song Brazil. Uh, also, I use the uh, thing where I, I go back to the fifth part of the scale, which in this case is D, G, A, B, C, D. I use that note, which is low D, and I do the G scale. But after, after every note of the G scale, I come back to that. So that sounds good. I used a lot of chord tones. You can see me doing the D, B, G, G, B, D. And then I did the C, E, and G, only I kind of mixed up the order. I didn't do C, E, G. I did uh, C, E, and low G, like, as opposed to, which one is right? Neither. Neither is, neither is wrong, I should say. Uh, you can use either one you want. I just chose to do it that way. And then I did the D, F sharp, A. I could have done, used the low D with the F sharp and A, but I just used, used the high one because I was already there at that note. So here it is again, D, D, uh, G, B, D, only inverted. C, E, G, back to the other one, now the D, 
right sharp right here. It sort of mirrored the melody at the bridge, if you will. It was kind of mirrors the, the, the stop time when you're ba 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 I tried to do those chords and sort of outline them in a rhythmic style. So uh, that's another great way to do that. The double stops. Remember these two double stops, D and B, are part of the G chord, so that works. And then you have D, F sharp, A, and you can also add a C on that. It's a D7 chord, D, F sharp, A, C. So you could do A and C work nice with the next chord. I did D and C together. Because remember, D, F sharp, A, C is a D7 chord, so you can use D and C, even though they're next to each other, they sound great on that chord. Here's the chord. D, F sharp, A, C, D. And you use those two note uh, patterns, and you, you change the rhythm of it so it's sort of syncopated and salsa-like, if you will, and it sounds great. Those are some ways that you can make this song really sound good. And you can always play the melody. That's that's. If you want to just do that, that's fine too. But if you want to do some improvisational things, use some of those. The sixth. I'm really just coming down the scale and pairing the scale tone with the chord tone with another note that's in that scale, or I'm sorry, in that chord. But when you use them in sixth, meaning six notes away, it really sounds good. That's that's a very popular sound. So. That's a great way to work to, uh, to improv on this song. Well, that's it for this time. I want to thank you for watching, and I'd uh, like to thank you for commenting. Uh, please go to tropicalshores.net for any of these uh, the sheet music or book needs. Also go to panland.ning.com. It's a social network for uh, steel drum players. There are uh, videos and pictures, and there's some downloadable free music on there. So please feel free to visit that. See you next time.